Hey, this is Ryan with Anatom GeoMobile Solutions. Uh, I want to take a few minutes here to walk you through how to set up the location profile in your Esri Collector app. Um, you'll want to do this if you're using Collector with a high accuracy uh, RTK enabled uh, GNSS receiver, such as an EOS uh, Arrow Gold or Arrow 200 receiver. Um, and to do this, we'll, we'll open up the Collector app. Uh, I'm going to just log in without my account for the purposes of this demo. And once we're in, we go up to the little blue profile guy on the top left, select him. We'll scroll down to the location section and select profile. And we can see here by default, um, Collector is working in GCS uh, WGS 1984. However, our arrow receivers are operating in a, um, a NAD 83 2011 coordinate system. So we want to make sure that the collector app is aware of this and makes the appropriate datum transformation in app in, in real time. So to do this, we'll, uh, we'll select add. And now it's asking us, okay, what is the GNSS um, coordinate system? As I mentioned, it's, it's NAD 83 2011. So we can punch in NAD 1983 to hone this list down quickly. Uh, we want to select this top one, GCS, NAD 83 2011. Sub number 6318, select that. And now it's asking to confirm or identify the coordinate system of our map. Um, as we just saw by default, we're in a WGS84 web mercator. Uh, so to quickly hone this big list down, go in the search bar, we can punch in web. And we want the third one down, WGS1984 web mercator auxiliary sphere 3857. Select that. We can pan into North America a little bit and hit next. And now it's asking us to uh, identify or confirm the datum transformation um, that we want the software to enable. So uh, we're gonna select this top one, WGS 1984 ITRF08 uh, to NAD 1983 2011. So we'll select that. We got the little uh, blue checkbox and we hit done. And now it's asking us to save, um, to name and save this profile so we have it on hand. So when we're out in the field with our high accuracy receiver, uh, we can apply this correction without having to go through these steps again. So uh, what we're going to do is we'll just call this RTK correction. I mean, we call it, we could call it uh, arrow receiver correction or RTK or, you know, as long as we're aware of what it is, we hit save. Now we see it down here as one of our profile types and we can go to the little info button and pull up basically what's going on here to confirm that we have the right um, coordinate system input and datum transformation being applied. So this all looks good. We hit done. We have the little blue checkbox on the left and now we can go out and start doing some centimeter grade mapping. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at Anatom Geomobile Solutions. Um, our website is agsgis.com. Uh, thanks again. Have a great day.